Forest plays an important role in Ghana's socio-economic development. In 2006, timber exports fetched the country an estimated amount of 214 million US dollars in revenue. The Forest Department was established in 1909 but was formally promulgated in 1927. The Forestry Commission started not as a commission, it started as a department. But then uh, it started properly in 1927 when uh, they had ordinances and uh, the government really took over the forestry department. A distinguished forester who made history in the commission, Ghana and the world as a whole, was John Harold Frimpon Francois. He was born at Akimtafo in the eastern region of Ghana on the 27th of October 1933 to Mr. G.J. Francois of St. Lucia in the West Indies and Mrs. Mercy Francois of Acropong. He started his education in New Tafo and continued at the Achimota School from 1942 to 1951. Whilst at Achimota School, he distinguished himself in academics and even more in the sporting field, excelling particularly in cricket and lawn tennis. For many years, uh, Mr. Francois was the uh, captain of the Ghana cricket team. Um, in the West African cricket circuit, Mr. Francois was a legend. And had he been born to a cricketing nation, he would have been one of the world's Greats. After school, he taught science in Achimota School for a short while before embarking on his forestry career in 1953. He joined the then forestry department as a learner forest ranger in April 1953 and subsequently entered the Edinburgh University where he obtained a degree in forestry in 1956. On completion of his course in June 19. He returned home immediately. Um, he started work as an assistant conservator of forest in the forestry department. He rose through the ranks and after 15 years of service, he was promoted to the rank of chief conservator of forest. He served as a district officer in uh, Cape Coast, Takwa, Sefirioso, and Dunkwa on the fin. He also served as the utilization officer in T Takrade. He did also serve as uh, the planning officer in Kumasi. He was the deputy chief conservator in 1962 and was promoted to the chief conservator of forest in 1971. As the chief executive of the forestry department, Mr. Francois provided transformational leadership and built up a strong value system in the organization that cherished a balanced approach to the management of forest estates. As a working plans officer, he used the same thing in his working relations with all his colleagues. Everybody liked Johnny, and uh, I think he whipped the enthusiasm of the officers, and they worked harder when he became uh, chief conservator of forests. The Buzia administration introduced the reforestation program as a policy, and as a chief advisor to the government on forestry, 
Mr. Francois offered immense help in fashioning out the policy and its implementation. This was a Herculean task because this was the first time that the forestry department was embarking on a huge reforestation program with a target of uh, 10 square miles per annum. And as the chief advisor to the government on forestry, Mr. Francois had to have the policy implemented. He came out with plans which said or told us what to plant, where to plant, when to plant, and how to care for the trees until they matured. There were also some professional issues that Mr. Francois dealt with. Between 1983 and 1988, the department embarked on the forest inventory project to determine what Ghana had on the ground in terms of timber resources, non-timber forest products, and also to determine the growth of the natural forest which at the end of the inventory exercise was estimated at 4 cubic meters per hectare per annum. The national forest policy which was promulgated in 1948 uh, had to be reviewed, it had to be revised. It has been in operation for almost uh, 50 years. And Mr. Francois, together with the then head of the Forestry Commission, uh, Dr. Asibe, sat down together, made proposals for the review. And in 1994, we came out with the National Forest and Wildlife Policy. This time, wildlife resources were also brought under the same umbrella. Johnny, as he was affectionately called by his peers, humane as he was, introduced Food for Work with the support of the UN World Food Program. The workers of the plantation program received food as part payment of their wages. This sustained the reforestation program and largely accounted for its success. He was one of the brains behind the creation of the Institute of Renewable Natural Resources at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology to train professionals. We needed professional staff. We did not have the resources to train them outside the country. Um, so we had no choice but to create our own institute to train them. He was also part of the team that looked at private timber companies. Glisten in Sechuvioso, African Timber and Plywood Companies at Samriboy and RT Brisco at Sechuvioso. Given his commitment to high level of professionalism and selflessness, it was no surprise that Mr. Francois survived several regimes, both civilian and military. In fact, in longevity, there is nobody uh, who had been at the helm of affairs for that long. Two, in terms of depth of knowledge, I don't think uh, there are many equals. Uh, the Quistartans were okay, but he had a longer time to put his ideas on paper and put his ideas into people's minds. No, John is not equal. It's not equal. On the international scene, his views were very respected. For decades, he was a member of the governing council of the Commonwealth Forestry Association, a member of the UNFAO African Commission, and a founding member of the International Tropical Timber Council. Johnny Francois was also a family man who never mixed his work with issues of the house. When he got home, he was a family man, a complete family man. He never brought uh, anything from office down to the house. He, you know, he wasn't a one-sided man. He would listen to, I mean, if two parties had a problem, he would make sure he would listen to the others, you know, both sides before judging. 
I think that's what kept him going. My father was a very principled man in general. Strict when it was called for, but um, more lenient to his loved ones. Instead of enforcing most of his laws as in a dictatorial style, more often than not he tried to make us understand what we were doing and what was wrong with it. John Harold Frimpon Francois, a man of integrity and very professional in all that he did. For all these virtues and more, he will always be remembered. He deserves more honors.